Hey everybody, it's Michael here with goodereader.com and today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. This is the brand new e-reader that the company has just issued. It has a USB cable. So, when you purchase this bundled with it comes this cable. This cable is not only used for charging your device when hooked up to your laptop, netbook, Mac, PC, and so on, but it also is used to facilitate data transfers uh, to your unit. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Windows Explorer caliber and show you some tips and tricks along the way. Amazon uses a proprietary ebook format called Mobi, PRC, AZW. It uses a lot of sort of proprietary ebook formats. What this means is that you can't necessarily purchase books from say a Kobo, a Sony, or a Barnes and Noble and use these books on your Kindle. You have to either buy books from Amazon or you have to download samples or ebooks that do not have digital rights management. Uh, digital rights management is just a fancy word for encryption. It just basically prevents unauthorized sharing, transfers, and such of ebooks. One program I really like is Calibre. It's a free download, and this program allows you a lot of versatility in terms of converting ebooks from one format to another, uh, changing cover art, and doing a lot of other things. I'm going to show you a lot of these things that you can do. Uh, if you want to download Caliber in this video tutorial on our website at goodyreader.com slash blog, and we will have links to it. Otherwise, you can just simply Google it. It's free. No big deal. We have a sample book here. It's The Passage by Justin Cronin. As you can see, it is an EPUB format. A lot of books, say from a Project Gutenberg, from Smashwords, uh, from a ton of other sites, there's a lot of free books out there and sample books out there uh, that come in EPUB format. Now, since the Kindle can read EPUB format, we're going to have to convert this book to a Kindle-friendly format. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that all the metadata is correct. So um, to open the book in Calibre, all I did was click on Add Books and then browse my PC to... Uh, find the books that I have, and I had them right on my desktop just for uh, ease of use in this video tutorial. You may store them in alternative folders. You know where they are better than I do. So once it's added on your shelf here, you can right click, click edit metadata, and then edit metadata individually. And you can see a lot of details here. You can see the title, the author, the series. Now, for me, I like my e-reader to be fairly clutter-free. I don't like my titles to have these sort of things in parentheses. That's pretty busy. What I really kind of want to do is just have the name of the book, which is the 12. So I'm just going to delete everything else. And then you can see here where it says title sort. This is in red. What I want to do is click on this little arrow here and it makes it green. And that basically just ensures that the formatting between each title and the title sort is correct. Uh, author's name is correct. The series name is correct. Uh, in a lot of cases, when you download books from the internet, uh, they may not have the cover art or um, the author's name may be the book uploader's name if you're downloading it from, say, like a file sharing site. So let's say that the title and author name is correct, but I don't know if this is the right cover art or um, maybe it didn't have cover art at all. So what I'm going to do is click on download metadata. Now, it's important to note in order to fetch this information from Amazon, Google, and uh, other companies, both the title and author name has to be correct. So you can't have the 12 by Justin Cronin in the title, or I won't be able to fetch that information. But I have it basically down here, the 12, Justin Cronin. I'm going to click Fetch Metadata. Now it's basically just talking to Amazon and Google. I'm going to click on this one because it has a cover. And you can see here, according to Amazon, some other sites, it has the cover. I'm going to click OK. Now all of a sudden, not only do I have an ISBN number, but I ha also have an Amazon number as well. And you can see under the comments here, a lot of this information's changed, uh, giving you, um, you know, all the Amazon reviews that are on the book listing for the website. 
And you can also see the publisher's name had changed. So I'm pretty okay with these changes. You can see some of this information here has changed. But it's still an EPUB format, which means the Kindle can't read it. So what we're going to do is convert this EPUB sample book uh, to a Kindle friendly format. So I'm going to right click and instead of selecting edit metadata like we did before, I'm going to select convert books. And because I only have one book right now, I don't have to do a bulk convert. I could just do it individually. So I'm going to click on that. You see a lot of information here. Do not be daunted by any of this. There's really only really one thing you need to do and that's the output format. Now, the output format, by default, it's EPUB, which is the format of this ebook. You can see Mobi, AZW3, PDB, Lit, and the list goes on. I want to convert it to a Mobi, and I encourage anybody who's converting EPUB to an Amazon Kindle friendly format, use Mobi. It's pretty well the most open standard in terms of ebook format. I'm just going to click OK bottom right hand corner you can see jobs here and it's processing now it's important to note when I'm converting this book to an EPUB format, I'm still not I'm not gonna lose the EPUB. The EPUB file will be maintained and the book will basically be duplicated. So I'll have one version that'll be EPUB and then one version after this conversion process is complete, which will be Mobi. Uh, when this is done, you have a few options. You can save both books to a directory on your PC, and you can just quickly, quickly click on Save to Disk, Save to Disk, select whatever directory that you want to do. Now, Jobs is done, and you can see here it is in EPUB and Mobi. What we're going to do is just save it to disk because I like the changes that I did and now it's on my PC. When you download Calibre and plug in your Amazon Kindle, you should see a picture of a Kindle appear here. If you click on device, you'll see all the books that are on it. So you see the default dictionaries, the user guide, Chinese dictionary, a bunch of free books that you know were automatically synced and past purchases we had made. Uh, if you want to say delete something, say I want to, you know, delete the Chinese edition, I can just click on here and click on remove selected books, and it's actually deleting this book now from the Kindle. So Calibre is a great way to easily delete books that are off of, you know, that are on it that you don't want. Now, here's the book and I'm going to simply send it to my Kindle by clicking right clicking and send to device and then send to device main memory. So it's now saving this uh, ebook to my Kindle. And you can see here there's a green check mark, which means it's there. Now, let's say that you already have an extensive Mobi collection or, you know, you followed this tutorial and you converted, you know, 10 of your EPUB books to uh, Mobi formats and you save them to your disk. You don't have to do the send to device thing that I showed you. If you want to just simply add books to your Kindle, you can click on add books, select the book double click and it'll just you know copy the book to your e-reader. The process I showed you, you know, basically converting one ebook format to another, it's pretty important for a lot of people that are new to e-readers, uh, but it's also useful to be able to change your cover art, change the author's name and so on. So Calibre allows a lot of flexibility with that. You can see here that we have Adobe Digital Editions, and if you've seen any of our other video tutorials, any ebook reader that does EPUB format, which is basically all of them except for Amazon, this is the program that you would use to transfer books that you've purchased from other ebook stores to your e reader. As you can see, our Kindle is plugged into our PC, and I'll just verify that right here. You can see here it's my H drive. 
it's not being picked up by Adobe Digital Editions. It's because the Amazon Kindle line of e-readers is not compatible with this because, you know, basically you can only purchase books from Amazon and that's it unless you use the caliber method that I showed you. So we have a book here, but we have no e-reader to drag and drop it in. So woe was us. When you look at your Kindle here, this is the basic directory that you see here. If you want to just say, I want to copy my own books to my Kindle, you can do it in the documents directory here. You can see here that we've only had our e-reader for about a week and a half and it's getting kind of full and unwieldy. You know, half the books are in directories, the other half are just dragged and dropped into the e-reader here. You have a few options. You could either create like a directory structure where you have, say, my you know, make a directory called romance or make a directory of anything you want. And then you could just simply drag and drop books into those specific directories. If you don't really care, you could just simply drag and drop. A lot of people who have like 50, 100 or more books and you're not maybe reading them right away. But hey, I mean, a Kindle, the very selling point of it is to carry your library in your pocket. So you may just want to have it decked out with books. So you're never without, uh, you know, uh, books that you may want to read. So you could basically structure the directory any way that you want. I prefer genres because, you know, when you have a particularly... If you have a particular literary taste, it's often most people's tastes aren't all across the board. You have your people that love, say, paranormal romance, so they'll read, you know, urban, they'll read normal romance, and then you have, like, guys that may just like fantasy or sci fi, but they're not necessarily going to be making erotica folders so you may want to just go with genre folders and then put the author's name in there say so if you're a james patterson fan i can quickly have roughly about 100 books by him there if i just want to simply copy an ebook via windows explorer you can see here i have another sample book here patricia cornwell bone bed or the bone bed and i can just simply click copy then go back to my Kindle, go into the Documents folder. The documents folder is important. You don't want to copy it in any other place. And then click Paste. When I unplug the Kindle from my PC, all of the new content will be automatically recognized and stored on the device. Now, because it's not purchased from Amazon, you can't necessarily store it in the cloud. So once you delete the ebook from your e-reader, it's gone. But I definitely recommend a program like Caliber in order to facilitate not only the transfer of books, but also to manage your e-reader. If you have any questions or concerns, please repl uh, reply to this YouTube video. Uh, if you're watching it on any other source you can see our youtube channel youtube.com slash good e-reader or you can find all the local news and international news on e-readers tablets digital publishing ebooks on our website here goodyreader.com and for good e-reader my name is michael and everybody take care